two most important prayers to go through life to live by. The first one is Asatoma Sadgameya Tamsoma Jyotirgameya Mrityorma Amritam Gameya. Whoever you pray to, your God, your higher consciousness. From untruth, lead us to the truth. You can ruin your health. You can ruin your wealth. You can ruin your happiness. You can ruin your peace of mind in search of truth about something. People go to courts to find justice, to find the truth. Countries go on war. We spend lifetimes living our untruth or being in that shadow about other people because we lack information or clarity. And we all know the moment you get that clarity, things change. From darkness, lead us to the light. If we are banging into things in a dark room and groping to find where the exit is or where things are, especially in an unknown place, we're going to be very upset, afraid, and angry at things and people that bump into us. Being angry at the situation that we're in, we can scream and shout all you want. It does not go away. The only way the darkness goes away only with light. Darkness actually does not exist. It is absence of light. We all need this enlightenment about situation. That enlightenment, whether it comes from within or without. But we all need it. And let's not make enlightenment into this esoteric, out of reach thing. Mrityorma amritam gamaya. From death lead us to immortality. Are you living or are you dying? It's a question you have to ask. Living is life, invigorating, enthusiastic, energetic. That's life. Going through the passage of time, low energy about life itself is marching towards death. Put this package together. What is the solution? What is the approach to it? How to do it? What prevents me from attaining this? Or how do I get rid of the junk and how do I get what I want in my life? Simple, straightforward, fastest way is being myself. Living my own truth. Not to throw my own self into darkness. Not allow other people to push my real self away. Instead of seeking approval and recommendation from someone else outside of me. I approve myself. I am self-sufficient. I'm complete. What is it that I seek about myself from other people? That's a question you have to ask. I'm not saying become antisocial. Being myself is not antisocial. Being myself is a sense of satisfaction, santosham. No one can give this to me. And it is available for free for me, to me, within me, by me. Living my authenticity, living my own truth, living my own light. And what is immortal? Being myself is the only thing that is immortal. My authenticity, my truth, my values, my life, my happiness, my love, my joy, my own self, my true self is the only one, only thing that is immortal as far as I am concerned. Then the second prayer, it's the other side of the coin that is outside of me, but includes me. Samasta loka sukino bhavantu or loka samasta sukino bhavantu. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy or may all the beings in this world be happy. The word here is sukha in Punjabi or Hindi is much more than just happiness. It includes satisfaction. It includes peace, sukha. Sukha is opposite of dukha. Dukha means difficulties and so forth. Here the prayer is for the happiness and satisfaction 
for all beings. Perhaps a better word for Sukh will be fulfillment, living a fulfilled life, not just only for me, it's for everyone. May all the beings, no competition. I should be happier than you or only I should be happy. There is a lot of selfishness in this world. And the way to counter that is by this expansion of the heart. The way to counter selfishness is not necessarily selflessness because that word itself means different thing to different people. But this prayer is sufficient. Samastha loka sukhino bhavantu. May all the beings, not only human beings, animals, insects, birds, creatures that live in underground, creatures that live in the ocean and water, creatures that are visible only under the microscope, the pathogens, and beings that are beyond our understanding in this physical world. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy or sukh, having a fulfilled experience. And that obviously includes me. This prayer is very much needed right now. This is light work. There are saints and sages and seers who are not doing any work for their personal gains. They're doing it for the betterment of the world. Living the way we are currently, we can perform this prayer on a daily basis. Samastha loka sukhino bhavantu. So when we are doing this prayer, I'm also praying for the well-being of people who I dislike or who dislike me, who I have problems with or who is giving me trouble. So with that, my heart expands. There is a transformation within me. This prayer then feeds back into the first prayer. From untruth, lead me to the truth. The truth shall set you free. The truth that at the end we are all one. From darkness, lead us to the light. It's a transformation that we go through. Words are not enough. When we do these prayers on a regular basis and ideally do it with meaning and feeling, bring your own meaning into it. And this is perhaps the easiest way to I love me, I love you, you love me, I love God, God loves me, I love everyone and everyone loves me.